Hello wonderful people and today I want to share with you my story of how I really got to know God. So around 2012, you know, I really opened my heart to really seek the Lord. You know, I had grown up in a Christian family, you know, going to church, you know, just a, just a normal religious practice, just going to church on Sunday and sometimes on Wednesday and Really, I really felt that those motorists, you know, I'm a person who loves, you know, just searching out truth. And I, I just remember thinking like in, in the Bible, how so many people had encounters with God. They had these wonderful experiences with God. And I just, I just saw that they had a personal relationship with God. So around 2012, I mean, I was honest with God. And I just opened my heart to him. I said, God, if you're real, reveal yourself to me. I want to know you as a friend. And shortly after that, I remember it was November 2012, and the Lord encountered me in the morning, it was a Saturday morning, and I had an audible voice, and the Lord said, my spirit is in your heart. And I was amazed at, at, at when I had that encounter, and a friend just shared with me that God is, is seeking you, I mean, God is encountering you. And so that really changed, that even gave me even a deeper desire to go to know the Lord, to just be passionate and diligent about seeking Him. And also during that time, I, I think I, it was like January 2013, the church was going to, was doing something they called Encounter Week. And I remember the last day of that week, there was a, a, a call for people to come up and be prayed for. And I just felt that I needed to go up. And I remember a man prayed for me, just a simple prayer. I don't even remember it. But I was just seeking and pursuing God. Then after that event, shortly after that, just a few weeks after that, I remember I had another encounter. I was sleeping and in the middle of the night I had an, another audible voice and, and, and I just heard, my light is in your eyes. And then I was, I was startled because I wasn't used to, to you know, to encounters like that but I, want to, I just want to encourage you encounters are for everyone I'm not special God can also encounter you he loves to encounter his creation he is a relational God and encounters are just part of a byproduct of our relationship with God so when God encountered me in 2013 and I had the, the audible voice my light is in your eyes I remember I just after just being stuttered I just I just um I just felt this peace and, and I just knew that God was speaking to me. My Heavenly Father was speaking to me. And that moment, uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and He said, and this was just, I just, I just got this, uh, like they, they call it a still small voice. And I just heard Him say that I'm crying out for my lost sheep and the harvest is ready. So when I had this, I had these tears running down my eyes. And I just felt at that moment how much God loves humanity. And from then on, I was really changed as this love that was birthed in me, love for God's creation, love for humanity. And it came from an, an encounter and just wanting to know God as a friend. So I just want to encourage you that even as I made that decision that, God, I want to, to know you, what I've observed, the way we get to know our Heavenly Father is through the door, and that is Jesus Christ. Jesus opens the way for us to connect with our Heavenly Father, a God who loves us, a God who is pursuing us, a God who has a great purpose and destiny for us. So I encourage you um, uh, in the description box, I'll put a, a short prayer to just receive Jesus into your heart as Lord and Savior. He is the door to our Heavenly Father. When you connect with our Heavenly Father, all of a sudden life becomes just adventurous and purposeful for me the way life has changed for me by connecting with with our heavenly father is now is just a sense of hope there's peace there's joy you know I, I used to be very timid and now there's a confidence and a boldness to share the love of God because God loves humanity he loves his creation I just want to be that vessel to share his love I mean there are things even I I, I was delivered from things like pornography I mean I, I remember I used to have nightmares when I used to sleep and now there's just this peace when I got to sleep I mean so many things you know another thing I can think of is always a, a sense of I'm right you know when you're talking and you always want to win arguments senseless arguments you know and so all those 
flaws just began to to just wane down even as I connected w with God. So God has set me free for, from so many things and he wants to set you free. You are created to work with God, to relate with God. God is a God of relationship. So I encourage you just to open your heart and just and just allow God just to encounter you. And so I just put the prayer in the description box. Just say that prayer. And even as you say that prayer, God will begin to walk with you. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to bless you with that short testimony. God bless you and know you are awesome. And, and our Heavenly Father, the God who created all things, loves you with an everlasting love. God bless you. Bye-bye.